A wide vocabulary provides children with the means to describe what they see, show their knowledge, make comparisons and start to understand they have a part to play in looking after the world. Even very young children are curious about the world around them and can experience it through different media as they start to show an interest beyond their immediate first-hand experience. The outdoor environment offers so much for children in terms of learning about the world, about understanding the world. So could we sort of think about that? Can you give me some examples of where children's learning outside has been particularly powerful and where you can relate it to widening vocabulary? I think we recognise that the outdoor is such a special place for children. It's full of excitement, full of unknowns. So children will run outside, they'll go and investigate the areas, and I want to find out and do more. So as a uh, practitioner in the setting, it's important these areas are carefully set up uh, for areas of exploration um, and areas of interest for the children. And often we find children will go to these special areas um, and engage with their friends in activities. And then as an adult, you can introduce the vocabulary. What can you see? What do you notice? How's this happened? Um, and really drive that learning forward. We've talked a lot about how we widen children's vocabulary to support their understanding of the world and another place to go is to books and stories, rhymes, songs. So I'm very interested in hearing more about how you achieve this in your setting. We have a lot of books on offer in the setting, both fictional and non-fictional, and I think they are a great go-to resource in terms of learning more about the, the wider world for adults and children. I think it's really good for the adults within the setting to model that concept of being a reader, um, and I think that's something that we're, we're really trying to build in young children, and we really want them to have a confidence um, in themselves as a, as a reader, behaving as a reader, even in those very early stages of holding a book and turning the pages and beginning to understand how to use a book and treasure it as a, as a really useful resource. It's so important for the children in this digital age that we live in um, that they are confident with the uses of technology to extend their learning being in the story area and actually we, that's something that we had done in terms of rather than a tablet we'd had CD players with some popular stories and some headsets so children could really listen in and that's all about building vocabulary in, in stories but it was a different private moment they could pop, go in, pop on a headphone and it's also about learning to use the technology when the story's ended and how do you replay it or rewind or things like that so that was quite an interesting one. In terms of technological diversity and the use of vocabulary, find out what the child already knows and harness all the technological opportunities in the setting. Ecological diversity supports the child to describe and understand the natural world and the made-built world they live in and which they then learn to care for. Playing outside can help children to find their voice. Some children's most developed language emerges when playing outside. The adult plays a key role in developing oracy and communication skills and offering a model of vocabulary to build children's confidence and understanding. Exploring the world in which we live is greatly supported and enhanced through the use of books. Books provide an inspiring resource for furthering children's vocabulary and nourishing children's fascination with the world, as well as developing children's view of themselves as they begin to see themselves as readers. <laughs>